it's really important to start thinking about the health impacts of climate change. This is not something that is solely affecting future generations. It's here with us now. CDC, I think, has really been on the forefront in trying to address the issue of climate and health. The CDC's Climate and Health Program is tasked with preparing the U.S. public health infrastructure for the health consequences of climate change. This is a very unique program. There's lots of components in the federal government that are looking at climate change in terms of modeling might happen, trying to understand what the impacts are, trying to address factors that lead to climate change. But we are the only part of the federal government that's looking at how do people adapt to climate change when it's occurring. Whether it be on heat-related illness and death, air pollution, which can impact both respiratory health and um, cardiovascular health, flooding and drought, and the fact that they greatly impact the people that are affected. Um, so climate change is a health issue. It's a public health issue, and it needs to be addressed. The CDC's Climate and Health Program has as our flagship initiative the Climate Ready States and Cities Initiative. This is our effort to provide scientific guidance, resources and funding, and technical expertise to the state and local level so that they can better assess what climate change means for the jurisdiction, how it will change the health effects that they currently experience, how they identify and prioritize those threats uh, moving into the future, develop systems to track those threats over time, which we call surveillance, so that they can anticipate which of these threats are becoming more prominent, and then we match those threats and the severity of those threats with solutions or interventions that, that they can put in place to help protect their population's health. Climate impacts are going to be different depending on where you live in the country. The effects that will be felt in Florida, for example, are going to be substantially different from that felt in Oregon. We try to really make those threats context specific so that the uh, responses to that or the interventions we put in place will have the best chance of, of working. We're seeing a lot of different kinds of climate change effects here in Minnesota, and we're seeing increases in heat, so we're seeing increases in heat-related illnesses, seeing this much heavier precipitation that's leading to flooding and flash flooding, so there's injuries involved with that. There's mold contamination in homes, which leads to respiratory diseases. And then there's changes in our ecology, which changes how mosquitoes and ticks reproduce, what kinds of diseases they carry, where they're found in Minnesota, and all of these things are very distressing. The funding we receive from CDC is critical to our work in understanding the public health implications of, around climate change. It allows us to focus on, on issues and factors that are specific to Minnesota, which we might not otherwise um, have the resources to do. This funding has helped the health department do a lot of different kinds of activities. One of the things that we're working on is education. We've developed a documentary on climate and health in Minnesota. We've also developed six training modules on climate and health that are available on our website. We're also developing tools for our partners at local public health and emergency managers. We've developed the Minnesota Extreme Heat Toolkit. Minnesota Department of Health uh, has provided all local jurisdictions in Minnesota with this really helpful extreme heat toolkit. We in Ramsey, we have taken it, we've adapted a number of the tools, um, and we've used it within our own staff to give them basically information about how to be, they and their family can be prepared. It's important for that so that they can come to work and help us to protect the people of Ramsey County. We also help local public health and others map vulnerable populations and assets in their community to help them identify where they have populations that might be vulnerable to something like extreme heat and what kinds of assets are available so they can direct those resources to the places that need them the most. The support of the CDC has been really critical, not only for the Minnesota Department of Health in addressing the public health implications of climate change, but in helping us work with our other state agencies to really bring a more holistic approach to the state of Minnesota as a whole, both in terms of helping to adapt to a changing climate and then actions we can take to help mitigate and hopefully slow the change in the climate and really focus as a state working together to address these really complex issues. Our program is built upon the premise of adaptive management, that we can uh, confront a problem, identify the magnitude of it, and conduct certain activities to try to manage that threat. When you have a problem as complicated and complex as, as climate change, you have to build learning into the system and understand what works and what doesn't work 
and uh, reimagine your framework in order to solve some of those problems. We call this the adaptive management. Our vision is to take our BRACE framework, which is our uh, adaptation framework, and build it into the core functioning of every health department in the country. We currently work with 18 health departments and are experiencing great success in building this capacity within the health department. Our goal is to maintain that capacity, but grow it. So each state across the country has the capacity to understand what climate change will do for the jurisdiction and have the resources and the capacity to be able to manage it in the future.